be a grocery haul meal ideas because i'm going to share with you guys what we're having for dinner this week fridge and pantry organizational video so you guys saw i put all the groceries out i would probably say this is our biggest grocery haul yet. I don't think I've gotten this much food in a really, really long time. And I actually got it from two separate stores. So I got a majority of the kids stuff or kids snacks, I should say, from Walmart, a bulk of it. And then I got more of the perishable and produce items from Publix, which can I just say really quickly, this grocery haul was so expensive. I know you guys probably already know groceries are going up and up and up. And this is probably the most that I've spent on groceries in a really long time. Granted, I know I got a lot more stuff, but I was definitely not expecting to spend this much. But I'm just gonna jump right in and show you guys everything that I got because I got some freezer items and of course stuff that needs to go in the fridge that I don't want to thaw out too much. So I'll show you that and then I'll kind of show you guys a before of what we're working with because we really needed to replenish our pantry. It definitely got low. The kids have been eating more and more and more. So you guys will see this time I really stocked up on snacks. All right, so starting over here, we have all of the meat for this week. So we got some boneless chicken breasts, which I just realized we're gonna make some pesto chicken tonight, but I forgot to get shredded mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna have to go back to the store and get that. But we have boneless skinless chicken breasts, and then Frank got some tenderloins. I'm not sure what he's gonna make with those. We've been really loving breakfast for dinner lately. We've had it last week and then the week before, and the kids have really liked it, so we're gonna have it again this week. So I got some black label thick cut bacon, and then I got myself some turkey bacon. And then we're gonna try Publix bourbon salmon fillets. We've never had their bourbon marinade. We always made our own, so I'm excited to see how that's gonna taste. And then some romaine lettuce. We got some blueberries bananas, a couple bell peppers, a green and orange one, some asparagus, strawberries, blackberries, tomatoes for the pesto chicken. I got one avocado for avocado toast, some Brussels sprouts, which is also another favorite of ours, and some cantaloupe, pineapple. We love to have that with our breakfast for dinner. Got some mozzarella string cheese, some yogurts. The kids love yogurt. They love their gogurts. They love their yogurt drinks. They love plain yogurt, you guys, they love their yogurt. And then some oven roasted turkey breast for the kids' lunches, as well as pepperoni for the kids' lunches. And then sometimes in the mornings when we're having that really hectic, busy morning, the kids wanna pack their lunch, no shame. They love their Lunchables. So I got some pizza ones, some nacho ones, and then I'll just pack some other stuff to go in there as well. And then some shaved Parmesan cheese. We're also having creamy, I can't remember the exact name. I kind of make, it's like a creamy pasta, garlic creamy pasta, and I kind of make my own Alfredo sauce. I know I've made it somewhere on this channel before. You guys will have to scroll back. If you go to my food playlist, it's somewhere in there. Um, but I'm also gonna make that. That is a pasta meal. So I got some shaved Parmesan cheese to go on top to garnish, and then I showed you guys the yogurt tub that the kids like. They like the Stony Phil organic probiotic one, the vanilla flavor. Favorite coffee creamer. This is the only coffee creamer that has been my tried and true. I love this one so much. So I got picked up some more of that. Like I told you guys, yogurt drinks. We got some mango, berry. I think there's peach. Yes, peach. And then I think they were out of the strawberry and banana ones. So I think that's why I got some more of the mango ones. They haven't tried this one yet. So I'm excited to see if they'll like that one. I got some more eggs some pesto. This is our favorite pesto that we like to use for our pesto chicken. We got cinnamon rolls, another favorite. The kids love, 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 love Annie's organic cinnamon rolls. So I got two of those. And I think I said that will be for our breakfast for dinner. Parmesan cheese for that pasta meal I was telling you guys about, as well as the chicken broth. Now getting into all the snacks that the kids love. Um, I got some, well not necessarily a snack, but we needed to get a couple more cereals. So we got Lucky Charm and Fruit Loops. Cheez-Its, the Grooves Cheez-Its. This is the sharp white cheddar flavor some applesauce pouches, apple strawberry, apple apple, and apple banana. Got some pretzel crisps. These are really good with hummus. Nolan especially loves the garlic parmesan one. So I got also an original. And then Fletcher's favorite cereal bars are the Earth's Best Organic Sunny Day Snack Bars. He loves the strawberry ones. And then Harlow especially loves the Z bars. They all love different granola bars. So you guys will see that we have all different kind of granola bars and crackers and stuff like that because they all have 
their preferences. And then I also got some Nilla wafers back there, some steam in a bag broccoli florets. This definitely comes in handy if you're trying to be healthy, but healthy in a time crunch like us. We love our steam in a bag broccoli. And then some baby goldfish, which I think I got two, yeah, two bags of those. That's Fletcher's favorite snack. He loves baby goldfish. Blueberry bagels. This is actually a Harlow's favorite. She loves her bagels and she loves them actually not cooked. So does Nolan. They don't like them in the toaster. Nolan always loves it with peanut butter and Harlow always loves it with cream cheese. And then we got some cheese, Ritz crackers. This is an everybody's favorite. They all like that. And now that it's getting hot outside and the kids are asking for popsicles, we've already gone through all of our popsicles from last summer. So I need to like get my stash up again, but I got these. They were out of the regular ones, like the liquid ones and the plastic, like the, I don't know what you call them, like regular ice pops. Or what do you guys call them? I've heard them called popsicles, otter pops. I call them popsicles, but um, I saw that they had these twin pops. I think, is there two? Yeah, two that come together. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer now. Um, Cause it's already, I feel like it's already starting to melt. But I got this one, it has orange, cherry, grape, banana, blue raspberry, and lime. So let me actually go ahead and put that in the freezer really quick. All right, so we also got a big thing of orange juice, some Texas toast to go with our pasta meal. I'm not a huge fan of Texas toast or garlic bread, but the kids and Frank love it. And then of course, it wouldn't be a grocery haul without Little Bites. I feel like Little Bites should just sponsor me by now because we go through so many Little Bites. This will be a treat for the kids. They love the strawberry ones, that's a new favorite. They're over the blueberry ones. And then I also got, party ones as well. Got some juice. This is, or actually I should say Capri Suns. This is their 100% juice in the apple flavor. I got a couple muffins back here. So I got these jumbo ones for the bigger kids because I've noticed that if I get one of these, it's not enough for the bigger kids and they'll eat like half the pack. So I'm like, okay, we just need to go ahead and get a bigger one for them and then the smaller one for the smaller kids. And then also a gallon of milk. This is primarily for Fletcher. And then Aria requested Takis. This is her favorite snack. I don't know how she eats these, but my stomach would be done, but she loved them. And then I also got them some Nutella to go, some fruit snacks, and then big old watermelon. This was from Walmart, so I didn't get to check to see if it was ripe or I didn't get to pick it out, so I'm curious to see how it will turn out. Usually I buy it pre-packaged, like I do the cantaloupe and the pineapple, but this time I'm like, nope, I'm gonna cut it myself because I know that I can definitely get a lot more watermelon and it's cheaper just to buy the whole thing, which I'm gonna start doing with the cantaloupe and pineapple too. You know, I was saying that this is our biggest haul yet and it probably is by the look of it, but honestly, the amount of money that I spent and now that I'm looking at all the food, I'm like, did I really get that much? But this will definitely restock our pantry. Let me just show you guys really quick because we have gone through so many snacks. Like this is about empty, this is about empty, um, almost empty like they wiped through a lot of it um, actually we're okay on cereal and I can open the fridge looking a little bare in here as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put all the refrigerator stuff away and then we'll work on putting all the snacks which I know Nolan and Aria are gonna want to help me it's almost about time to get them from school so I might wait until they get home to help me do that because they really enjoy it and I'll at least go ahead and put all of the refrigerated stuff away So as I was going through the fridge, I noticed I had a few things that were expired. So I basically just went through everything. I try to do that every single time we restock or get more groceries is I try to clean out the stuff that's expired. And I noticed the fridge needed a good wipe down. So I just brought out my all purpose spray and wiped down all the shelves and drawers. And I just wanted to note that every single time that I restock my fridge, it's never the same. I'm constantly rearranging stuff and moving stuff around. And also on top of that, as time goes by, it just gets disorganized anyways. Um, so there's not really a method on how I do it. That's why I love the bins. The bins definitely help with keeping the fridge more organized.
course, I had to do a restock on my favorite protein bars, which is Built Bars. You guys know I love them so much. I'm finding myself purchasing one or two boxes a month now because Frank and I both enjoy them and I at least have one every single day. Um, I love the coconut almond one and the cookies and cream. Actually, I love, there hasn't been one flavor that I have not liked yet. Frank personally loves the puff ones, but they also come in 18 permanent flavors as well. But the main reason why I love them is because they taste exactly like a candy bar. It doesn't even feel like I'm eating a protein bar at all. They are guilt-free and they have high protein, gluten-free and low calorie nutrition. For example, one of my favorite bars only has 130 calories, 17 grams of protein and only four grams of sugar. Built Bar has continued to be my all time favorite protein bar. I will not eat anything else. If you guys wanna try them, I'm gonna give you guys Moro's 10. That is a coupon code that you guys can use for your order. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. Also, a little hack with your eggs. If you want to store them like mine, or you do, and you don't know this already, and you get confused about when to use the eggs, just push the older eggs to the front to use those first, and then obviously put your newer ones towards the back. I can't remember if I updated you guys about storing fruit and vegetables in the mason jars, but I'm telling you now, I will not store them any other way because it definitely makes them last longer. Even longer than the green savers that I used to use. If you guys remember those little uh, containers I would put in the fridge and it had like a little, um, I can't remember what it is, a little carbon packet to keep it fresh. Not even that made the berries last as long as they do in the mason jar. So I definitely recommend trying this for yourself. I've even tried it with tomatoes. I mainly use them for our berries. Um, you can even use them for grapes. Um, let me know down below what else you would use them for. I've heard people using them for lettuce as well, so I might even try that. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go get some more and some bigger ones as well because I'm able to fit some more stuff in there. So we just wanna let you guys know that if you are wanting to find a way to make your fruits and vegetables last longer, definitely try mason jars. So I knew as soon as the kids got home from school, I knew Aria was wanting, or she would want to help me every single time. Actually, this was filmed a couple weeks ago from when I'm doing this voiceover, and we just got groceries yesterday, and she helped Frank put everything away. Um, I wanna say that she got it from me. <laughs> well, I know 100% that she got it from me, but I also wanna say that she is 
so amazing and I am so lucky to have a daughter like her because she's always wanting to help. She's also starting to pick up on a lot of my traits and wanting to be more organized and she just knows how I like to organize everything as well and she also does a really good job so I just have to give Aria little major props there because she does help me out a ton and currently we are just organizing our million and one granola bars. muffins in here I put the snacks that we couldn't fit into some of the containers right here so we have the Cheez-Its and the Nilla wafers and then the Nutella to go and then I put all the pretzels and chips in these boxes all breads bagels uh, rice cakes go into this box now down here we have gummies in the front of this container and then apple sauce and pouches some of Fletcher's in the back and then here we keep all of the granola bars so we have Fletcher's bars Z bars some that I have from Trader Joe's some crepes and then in here is kind of like a miscellaneous so we just put some more granola bars and Ritz crackers chips I, don't, I usually don't have to refill these because they don't really use like oatmeal and popcorn as much as they do the other snacks but that's what's in there goldfish Cheez-Its and then all of the cereals in these containers and then I really didn't have to refill anything over here because we're pretty good on cans and box stuff and um, spices. I know it looks like a ton of snacks. <laughs> like even as I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many snacks. But I have five little mouths that are endless pits and like to eat, they like to snack. So this is my reality. <laughs> now for the fridge, you guys kind of already saw how I organize everything. You guys probably already know my fridge and my pantry like the back of your hand because I've showed you guys so many times. But we have eggs, yogurt drinks. I put my yogurt here. I have sometimes a hard time organizing this part, especially if I have like leftover containers, trying to fit everything in here because we do have a smaller fridge because we do have this extra drawer right here. But I was able to put a lot of the produce, like the mason jars, lettuce, tomatoes, things like that. Lunchables are down here, leftovers up here. Yogurt pouches, cream cheese. It's kind of another miscellaneous box because we'll put other things in there as well. Um, butter, juice, jello and pudding, but we have uh, fruit cups in there right now. And then all of our veggies in this drawer. Fletcher's trying to close the door on me. And then fruit in this drawer. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you guys find these videos helpful, but even maybe entertaining, satisfying to watch. If you guys do, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll definitely do more like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.